Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. It's spring and it is a beautiful spring day, the day before Easter. And I went out last night and I picked wild violets. Then I went out again this morning and picked them and it's a slim year. We didn't get a lot of moisture this winter, so we didn't get anywhere near the amount I got last year when I made wild violet jelly. And it was beautiful and tastes wonderful. I, I love that stuff, but there's nowhere near enough to make that this year. But I'm still gonna use these wild violets. Now the entire plant is edible. There's different varieties and in most of the country, you're gonna find violet, the wild sweet violets or other varieties, and they have kind of a heart-shaped leaf. But actually, out here in the West, and at least here in my high desert property, there is a native type called Beckwith violets, and they don't have those heart-shaped leaves. They're more like just little, they almost look like a succulent leaf, but just little bitty things. And the violets aren't very big. This is one of the bigger ones that I picked, but a lot were even smaller. But it's definitely a violet and the entire plant is edible. You can use them in salads, you can make jelly. There's a lot of things you can do with them. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make wild violet vinegar. Now the first thing you need to do is, for this I'm going to leave the stems on, it won't hurt them. And these are the ones I picked last night and I rinsed them well, I looked through and see I'm still finding just little bits of weed stems that I need to pick out. So. You rinse them well and you let them dry and go through them really well. Make sure that all you have are the flowers, stems, and if you want leaves. This is from this morning. That is what the leaves look like on the Beckwith violets. It's very different. It's not that heart-shaped leaf, but it is a true violet, so it is safe. So these were from last night. I've rinsed them, dried them well. And these are the ones that I found this morning. And I've just put them in just a little colander, rinsed them well, and now I'm spreading them out and I'm gonna let these dry off some. And then I'm gonna go through them again, just like I did here. Make sure I don't have any weed stems or anything else in there that shouldn't be there. So once these have dried thoroughly, we'll come back. Well, I let these dry several hours while I had errands to run. I had to go record our church service for tomorrow for Easter so I could get it uploaded. So now these are all dry and I don't think it would hurt if they were wet, but I just decided not to. So I'm just going to add these all to a pint jar and they are so pretty. I love the colors. And I'm even putting those few leaves in there. It's not going to hurt anything. So now we've got about half a jar. Last year, I had about two of these full, and we still had more flowers. This is so simple to do, and you can do this with other edible flowers and herbs. This is just something that I look forward to now every year is these wild violets, and I wanna be able to use them. So I'm going to use champagne vinegar. You could use white wine vinegar, you could use white vinegar, you could use any kind, but I think these are gonna be a really delicate flavor and I don't want it overwhelmed. Oh, that smells good. So I'm just gonna pour it on top. It 
so pretty. Now I'm just gonna put a plastic lid on top. If you use a metal lid, I would add some plastic wrap between the lid and the contents because this is acidic and you don't want to risk it having anything off. And it's probably fine, but I just choose to be careful. So I'm just gonna swish it together really well and I'm gonna put this in a darker place for a couple of days and then we're gonna check it. But it is just so pretty. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the flavor is like and making a vinaigrette out of this. Isn't that gonna be wonderful? So I'll bring you back in a couple days when I'm ready to check this out. Well, it's been several days, probably four to five days, and I just have been so busy with my work that this was sitting waiting for me. And this is my beautiful wild violet vinegar. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's such a pretty color. So now we're going to pour that off. First, I'm gonna put it into this cute little bottle that I have that has a pour dispenser on it. So let's open this up. Oh, it smells so good. This is the champagne vinegar. And the only other thing in it is the wild violet flowers and that one little piece of stem. So let's see how this is going to look. Hmm, not sure if I'm going to get it all in here. I think I'm going to stop there and put the rest in this jar. And this is what the flowers look like. They faded some and they're limp, but you can still make out what they are. Barely. So now I'm just gonna take the back of a spoon and press and get any remaining vinegar out of it. Because you only get to do this once a year. There it is. Isn't this gorgeous? Now we have this beautiful vinegar, but what's it taste like? That's good. You can tell it's a champagne vinegar. It kind of tickles the back of your tongue. It's just got that floral flavor to it. So another fun and useful idea for how you can use your wild flowers. In this case, it's my wild violets. But I can use this in salads and in recipes, probably mostly salads, because this is going to be a not as strong to hold up to some recipes, although I may think of some, you never know. So, wild violet vinegar. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gives you ideas for other things that may grow in your area that are edible flowers and edible herbs to make your own vinegars. And 
we're going to enjoy this with our salads because of our diet. <laughs> we're eating a lot more of those. So I can make a vinaigrette out of this. And it's not only going to taste good, it's going to look good. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Make sure it says all videos because otherwise YouTube decides when and if they're going to share my content. God bless, stay safe, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you.